Hello, this is John D. Callahan, and this is how I fixed my shower valve and saved a lot of money. Now, my shower valve broke here, and it wouldn't turn off. So, it's a common problem that these valves wear off, wear out over time. They either leak or they break in some other manner, and in this manner, you couldn't turn it off. And I will show you that in a second. So, you have a few options. You can hire a plumber who's going to take this plate off, obviously. He may have to cut here, or he may have to cut on the wall, and that's typically what they have to do, and they replace the whole valve. And it, if you're really lucky, they won't have to cut, but usually they do. Either the uh, tub, or shower, well, the shower here, and then fix the fiberglass later, or the wall on the other side, if you have a wall on the other side, and do the uh, drywall. So that's obviously going to be, not obvious perhaps, but it's probably going to run you $500, $500 to $1,000 to hire contractors to fix this. Now you can do it yourself and maybe the parts will cost you $50 to $100. You know, if you have to do the drywall and you get the valve and any ancillary parts, if you're lucky, $50, bucks, maybe $100. So that's 10 times less versus 500 to 1,000. You could maybe do it yourself for 50 to 100, but it's gonna be a lot of time and effort, especially if you don't already have the skills uh, to do it. Now, what I did instead was, instead of worrying about turning the shower off here, I bought a little part at Lowe's. It cost me five bucks, literally. You screw it in here to the pipe, and then you screw the shower head into it, and it's just a little, it's just a little bow. So I fixed it for five bucks and five minutes. Not quite that, it took me a little longer to find the part and screw it in, but five minutes is fair. Uh, five minutes and five bucks approximately. So you just, what you do now is you reach up and you turn the shower on. Very simple, you just turn, instead of turning the shower on and off at the valve, you just turn it on and off right here at the head. It only takes a second. It's easy to reach up and do it, so you turn it on. And now the valve still functions in the same way as far as hot and cold. So you have it completely functioning and it could last for many years. And it's a $5 fix and you can see now, I can no longer turn it off still running it goes in and out it won't turn off so that's how the valve broke and my fix because again the valve still works perfectly fine as far as hot and cold and flow i just turn it on and off here at the head so that's my five dollar fix and five minute fix versus a plumber $500 to $1,000, are you trying to do it yourself for $50 to $100 in many hours?